Breaking news, uh, multiple Iranian rockets believed to be short-range ballistic missiles, surface-to-surface -surface missiles fired from inside Iran into Iraq, believed to be at U.S. facilities, perhaps the Al-Assad Air Base where U.S. troops are being housed. Let's bring in Waleed Ferris, Fox News national security analyst. Uh, Waleed, we, we are trying to get all the information we can. We don't know much, but what do you think this signals? Well, first of all, we are all waiting for U.S. official sources to confirm what we are hearing already in terms of news agencies, especially from the region. Uh, in the last 15 minutes, Pars agency from Iran, which is the official news agency, has issued a press release from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard confirming from their side that they have uh, shot missiles against Al Ambar, a U.S. base. But they also added that they have targeted also Kurdistan, a position in Kurdistan. So we are waiting for more information about the actual facts on the ground. Right. Uh, as far as what you know about the Iranians and how they, they act, what they've been saying, and how significant it was that uh, Soleimani, General Soleimani, was taken out, uh, what do you think about what we're hearing about this response? And is it uh, the first phase of, of what's to come, do you believe? I wouldn't say it's predictable, but it's almost predictable. They, the Iranian leadership is, was under two pressures, one coming from the base of the Quds Force, from the regime, from the militants, who wanted the Ayatollahs to order such a mission, because if they don't, then they could not anymore intimidate their uh, many enemies in the region. On the other hand, the more senior seasoned people in the regime, as far as we understand, uh, are very concerned about the risk taken by them targeting U.S. forces and sites because of the threats and the statements made by the president and by the administration in general. Uh, Iran is now taking credit uh, for this. We don't know, again, the, the impacts, uh, the impact of what exactly is happening on the ground, and we hope to have that. But quickly, Waleed, um, what do you think the U.S. might do in response to this? Look, this is, first of all, Brett, uh, rules of engagement. When our forces are under attack, the first rule, the immediate one, tactical, is to respond, stop the firing. But again, in this situation, it's really up to the chief executive to decide what exactly needs to be done. And I'm assuming that at this point in time, our military and intelligence uh, agencies yeah. are submitting what can be done. Waleed Ferris, uh, National Security Analyst for Fox. Thank you. Breaking news tonight. Stay with Fox News Channel for the latest on the Iran retaliation in the form of missiles fired at an Iraqi base housing American troops.